Good YouTube land, that word collector here. Today we'll be on taking a look at this Snorlax GX box. I just picked this up from my local Walmart for a $29.95 Canadian, and it's something uh, quite interesting that I want to talk about. So if you have been haven't been paying attention to the trading card game uh, scene lately. The uh, Alola set for for Sun and Moon will be dropping in uh, February. So they've released a few uh, teasers for that set. Th at least three around like this style, basically. They released the uh, Solgaleo and Lunala premium collection boxes. One, obviously, one for each legendary Pokemon that had... The oversized GX card, uh, a pin, a Kyoto figure for the legendary, and then three promo cards for the starters. And they also, doo -doo -doo, there was nowhere else to go with that. That was where those boxes. And the other one is this Snorlax box. So if you haven't seen uh, Snor uh, GX is yet then welcome. Basically, it's going to be the new mechanic when the uh, Sun and Moon drop, drop, I mean the uh, the cards for Sun for Sun and Moon drop. This was really, uh, I am so off track. I'm trying to think on fun. But it's basically akin to EX. Here's the comparison I thought of. They're basically like family members. If you're playing a board game, an EX is probably like the older brother that's playing a little bit better than you. And the GX tries to win the game in one move. <laughs> Take that how you will. But here he is. You've got, you've got in the box a basic card of Snorlax from the generation not the generation, the Evolutions line, a small playable Snorlax GX card, and uh, the oversized card, and four booster packs. Two Evolutions, one Breakthrough, one Fates Collide. And obviously a nice little picture of Snorlax right here. Uh, on the top, you got Snorlax GX box. It's too long... Oh, barely. Snorlax GX box with a picture of Snorlax. The same picture of Snorlax on all three sides. Uh, the two on the sides are more uh, panned out than the one on the top and the bottom. And on the back, you've got a little blurb about Snorlax. Snorlax is powerful even in its sleep, and even more dangerous when it finally wakes up as a Pokemon GX. The uh, Pokemon TCG Snorlax GX box brings you the best of two styles of Snorlax. A foil Snorlax in the style of the very first Pokemon trading cards, and the foil Snorlax GX featuring a brand new game mechanic. Asleep or awake, Mighty Snorlax dreams of victory. So, basically, this box was released because, at least in my opinion, in Sun and Moon... If you haven't played, or I'm, I'm sure you've heard of by now, Snorlax gets a new Z-move in the game, Pulverizing Pancake, which is by far the most hilarious thing. And GX is basically incorporating the gimmick of the Z-move. And nothing really eventful on the bottom. You just got all the copyright and trademark and 
all that stuff. So, it's just some frame. So, I'm going to open it, and we're going to take a look. So, here is everything opened up and out of its packaging, and I'm just going to get the code card right out of the way. We'll take a look at these two cards first. So this is the Snorlax in the Evolutions line, and for something in my brain told me I had one of these cards already from the original line, and I searched through all of my cards over there, my boxes, and apparently I don't have this, so this is the that is both weird and nice. Ability, immunity, this Pokemon can't be affected by any special conditions. And Body Slam for 50. Flip a coin, if heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. So put that off to the side. Here is the GX, and obviously the Giant. So just look out, they scale next to each other. Oop. <laughs> so basically, the new, the GX gimmick is now a new attack. So every GX card, I believe, will have three attacks. And he is a 190 HP basic type, so you can play him just like you do EXs. He also uh, has the EX rule, which is now the GX rule. When your Pokemon, when your opponent. You know, when your Pokemon GX is knocked out, your opponent takes two prize cards. What's interesting is this, but we'll get to that in a second. You've got Collapse, which does 80 damage, but this Pokemon is now asleep. And you've got Thunder Snore for 5 colorless energy. 180. This attack can be used if this Pokemon is asleep. They're very specific. Is asleep. If it is not asleep... This attack does nothing. That's a really interesting me mechanic, I guess. It's kind of, uh... Oh, it's it's the equivalent of the Pokemon using Sleep Talk. If you're only familiar with the video games. And you've got the new Pulverizing Pancake, GX. Damn it. I can hear a snowplow. But it does 210 damage, and this Pokemon is now asleep. So you can put yourself to sleep twice, and you have to use your other move to attack while you're asleep. But here's the big mechanic for the GX. You can't use more than one GX attack in a game. So you got to use this like very creatively, because you only have one opportunity. The uh, You can look at the Hollow Foil. It's definitely a little bit different, I think. And obviously you got the white background, the uh, holographic white background. This looks really cool, and this, yeah, this feels—it's a full art, and it feels, it feels very smooth. Yeah. And obviously he's weak to fighting. He's got four, uh, four cheat cost, promo, sun and moon zero five. So there's that. I'm going to put him right back in here. So now we'll take a look at these four packs. I'm going to go in this order. Actually, we're going to do that. I'm going to bookend each side with the evolutions. So first up, they collide. Take the prize card away. One, two, three, one, two. Gothita. Wismer. Mincino. Volibi. I always name this thing Depends because it's wearing diaper. It's wearing a diaper. And that's the first thing I'd think of, it depends for some reason. Larvitar. 
an Alakazam Spirit Link. Can never have enough of those. Fairy Drop. Heal 50 from one of your fairy types. Wheezing. Ooh, that's a, that's a cool card art. Balloon Bomb. And Thick Liquid. And we've got a uh, Reverse Hollow Lugia. As long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, any damage done by attacks from your opponent's active Pokemon is reduced by 20. Okay, and Intensifying Burn, and... Ooh, a Mega Audino EX. That is cool. That's cool. Obviously, you got the Kanji for Magical Symphony. Because I've seen, I've seen the Japanese cards, and they literally have the English word for their attack right in the same position, basically. Uh, 110. Obviously, evolve it from Audino EX. If you play the supported card from your hand during this turn, this stack does 50 more damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. Okay, that's... A, that's cool. <laughs> EX to start, that's pretty nice. Next, we have the Evolutions. I believe I can still open them like that. Take the uh, code card. I believe it's still 2312. Sand through. Ponyta. I'm just going to mention when I find a card I don't already have. Pikachu. Machop. A Pidgeot Spirit Link. There you go. Don't have a Pidgeot Spirit Link. Poliwhirl. Full Heal. A Reverse Misty's Determination. And our rare is an Electrode. So. Evolutions. Definitely not my favorite set. Like, I still... As I, I mentioned previously, I still have all my original uh, base set and fossil set cards. So the only real things that appeal to me in this set are like the the uh, Mega Evolutions and the EXs. Otherwise, it feels like I'm just collecting cards of like thing like cards I already have, except the ones I like. These ones are worth less than the ones I still have. Even though the ones I have are not in the best quality, I don't think. They're definitely not whatever the grading system is. Like, they're pretty, you know, beat up from sitting in a box for a long period of time. We've got an Axew. Froakie. Mischievous. Who dude? Cyndaquil? I love Cyndaquil. Cacturn. Haunter. Frinflop. Oh, nice! A Marowak Break! This is my second of this uh, card. It's always nice to get a break. And... Mr. Mime! The weirdo mime that could be Ash's father. Take that however you will. Uh, I always love a break. They're they're actually they're really cool. Although the breaks in this set are pretty cool too. Ah! So so far we've gotten one ex in this box and a break. That's actually pretty good. Oh, uh, I don't really keep complete tales on like what the pull rates are. For things like this. But I still think it's pretty good. We got Seal. We got Nidoran. We got Ponyta. Doe Duo. Pikachu. Again. This Haunter. Ooh, a Flying Pikachu. That's a card I actually don't have. Didn't have. Coughing. A Reverse Magmar. And Eradicate. So. Evolutions. You know. Didn't do too hot, but the the other ones br brought me some really good stuff, actually. 
And the main reason I bought it was for that giant guy back there. So, I can't, it's, it's hard to complain about it when you got a card as cool as that. So I'll put these, uh, hmm, hmm, I'll put those two beside. So, that has been an unboxing of the Pokemon Trading Card Collection Snorlax GX box. This is a really cool card. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. Make sure to like and comment because YouTube's still fucked up. Even though they put out a video saying there's nothing wrong. There's so much wrong with YouTube right now. Because And they want you to like and comment. So, I don't comment. I'm a Snorlax. If you if you if you relate to Snorlax, comment I'm a Snorlax or call me a Snorlax in the comment section below. And uh, if you want to keep up to date with any videos I put out, make sure to hit that little bell beside my name. I really hate doing this because I feel like I'm pandering and like I don't really like pandering. But uh, yeah, until next time, keep it weird. <laughs>